Flash floods are being reported across the country due to heavy rains overnight and into this morning. Mile 46 on the George Price Highway, just outside of Belmopan near Rio Cocos, is completely under several inches of water. The current from the rushing waters forced the bus off the pavement. Earlier this morning, somewhere in the area of Los Cocos, uh, a bus, I um, don't know how many persons were on board, but it was not one of the regular line buses that um, um, was um, pushed off the road by the, the waters um, in the area of Rio Coco. Uh, no one was injured, nobody was seen there, nobody has gone to any of our institutions for medical attention or otherwise. The already affected St. Matthew's village on the George Price Highway has been hit once again, and tonight there are about 10 families who had to be evacuated from their homes and are now staying at the church which is being used as a shelter. Esperanza Ariaza says that with the collapsed portion of the highway, she was unable to host the displaced families at the primary school, which is designated as an official shelter. This morning, I was um, very concerned because of the rain last night, heavy rain last night, and from the previous um, flooding, we have a lot of people um, that are on uh, areas that are known to be flood now. So um, I contact them via phone since I have their contact numbers, and yes, they told me that the water level rise even higher than the previous flood. So I was um, a bit worried, concerned um, that the crossing since the bridge break, and when I get to cross the bridge and I went there, yes, indeed, the water level is high. So um, now our concern was how to move these people to the shelter, which is at the school. We, don't, we can't cross them anymore. So we, um, I end up getting um, in contact with a pastor of a church and we have them, uh, which is in the higher grounds, right at the area where um, they can go and shelter. Well, Nemo is out already. Um, we already got the preliminary assessment in terms of number of people that need to be uh, uh, vacate their homes. Um, this time it's, it's a little bit worse than two weeks ago. This is what we do every, every year and so we have a, a competent team of uh, uh, people at Nemo that know exactly what to do so we'll move, move those people from the flood prone areas to shelters and then we'll take care of them until they, they could get back safely in their homes and provide them with the necessary cleaning solutions and whatever else that we can provide them with so that they can um, get their life back together. According to NEMA Minister Edmund Castro, over the past few weeks, flooding has been recorded across the length and breadth of the country. So we have flooding in the St. Matthews area, we have flooding in the Cotton Tree, we have flooding below, we have flooding um, out in, in the south on the Hummingbird Highway, we have flooding in Bayavista Vista in, in, the, in the Toledo district. And last week we were dealing with the flooding in San Roman and, and those areas up, up north. But that section was flooded from the rain from the north that flooded the Rio Hondo. But this is more centrally located. So we will receive more flooding in this area. And I am sure that similarly is going on, on along the coastal highway. But in terms of the work done in St. Matthew's village, Ariaza says that it was not enough and is asking for assistance to clear the drainage in the area to allow for flood waters to run off quickly. We had the Ministry of Works coming in. Um, the guy, he went with us and we showed him the area and they promised that they were going to do a proper drainage cleaning. And so far, yes, they had a machine in the village cleaning, but it was basically a small portion that they clean and the drain still don't have um, somewhere that it can go to the creek. Um, the little that they did, it was like a little a work that people could have done with their shovels. So um, we need the Ministry of Works to look into this issue from coming from Jaguar Pad Junction down to clean those drainage because they are not proper. The culverts that people have put there are small culverts that are not, um, have, they cannot hold the capacity of water coming. Twain Moody for News 5.